So, for those that don't know who Mr. Blacks is or what Mr. Blacks is about, just give us a quick insight <coughs> on who he is. Um, well, you know, I'm Mr. Blacks, you know, you don't see me around Tallahamish, you know, so you just catch me around post, get me in there. I'm Blacks, man, you know, I'm about, man, just doing my thing, music thing, you know, I'm trying to live life, you know, going uni and that. A couple of stuff just come out from holiday and my up with my friends and that. So just living life, man, getting music back on track as well. Makes that coming out soon, big things happening. Yeah. For the money, two for the niggas. I left the free out because I ain't fucking with the bitches. Trying to get the money in, trying to get the riches. So for guy I touch the fam, I'ma leave him in stitches. So why these haters always trying to stay in my back? Like they won't get blind dirty fam, still a black. I want my stack to be a beast so I can climb it like Jack. That's why I keep it on the law so I can have a good snack. When did you start doing music and, and why did you get in, in, into doing it? I done music at that when I was 13. Well, actually, no, you know what? I started playing music when I was young, like, young, young. Played violin and that. I know people thinking, fuck, play violin. Cool. Played the violin and that. <laughs> played the violin up to secondary school, you know. Got out of that. Started to rap, you know. Started to listen to guys like Stars P. Jay Kiss, D Block and that. Started to listen to Jay, Jay Z, you know, a bit of UK artists as well, like Skepta Wiley when he started the Grammy scene and that, getting all gas by and all that. So, you know, I made my first track in year nine, called After the Title, that's when I was young. I was at EM South, Big Up EMs. From then on, progressed on, started doing more tunes at my end, a couple of friends and that, got a bit known, done a couple of freestyles, got myself a bit known, left secondary school. Made my track with Icy and Suspect, that's a usual freestyle. That got taken off for personal reasons, you know, but big up them too. Then from then on, just started, you know, progressing in music. Released my first little single called Blackout. That was a big hit, people were liking it. I performed that at G Shop as well, you know, down Brick Lane. So I started to get myself a bit known, and here I am, you know, getting ready for my new single called The Backup Plan, which should be coming out before the end of this year, 100%. So I'm gonna flop. So it sounds like you've been doing this music thing for a long time, but, yeah. but if I ask officially, like... When did I start taking it seriously? Um, yeah, like officially, like thinking, yeah, like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a couple of tapes, work with him and her, so and so. It was 010, like... No, no, yeah, 010, 011. That's when I started to say, you know what, yeah. Like, the scene's not really all that. Like, let me give it a go. Like, I can, I can make chance with other people. I can really try and rap with the best of the best in it. I was hungry in it, so I thought, cool, I can make chats with this guy if I put the effort in, put the work rate in. But I realised I've still got a long way to go. And I started this music thing now, I'm taking it seriously, man. You know, that's between 2010 to 2011 times, you know, I made my 011 freestyle with Drastic, J Beers, Cadell, Big you know, as well. So. Get legit or dirty money fam, yeah you know the do And if you try and take it big Jeff will be holding the still And he will let the ting go, so you better run and squeal So if you wanna join the wave just that kid though And sooner or later you'll be getting them hoes I'm getting money, hoes and fame So you better step back and let me take over the game One for the money, two for the niggas, three for the bitch um, Yeah so you mentioned a couple UK acts like Skepta and Wally um, who are like currently like the main guys of Graham and the and, and the scene right now, isn't it? Yeah, but um, what do you think of the UK scene right now at this point? Well, we got Wiley in it because he he's he's the godfather and he's done his thing. And obviously his track heat waves just been sending shock waves for the scene. We got Skepta as well, boy better know they're doing their thing. Chipmunk, Hustle Gang and that, you know, he's doing this thing as well. Devlin, everyone's signed, like, even Dot Warren, Dot Warren's signed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, like, you know, Dot Warren's Italian artist, producer as well, I respect him a lot. Because, you know, like, we've finally been taking things overseas now, like, yeah. you see artists having shows in Ibiza, Mali or Magaluf. Yeah, man, Tiny Tempah was there when I was in Magaluf, so we saw Dot Warren on the, Dot Warren on the beach as well, <laughs> and all that stuff, so, yeah. They've they, they been doing their thing, man. The UK scene is looking, it's looking good, in it? But I expect more from the UK scene, innit? I know we can go to the US and, you know, battle with the best in the US, like, yeah, you know, big up Chip, innit? Because he's really doing his thing, you know? I heard he's made tracks with Meat Mill, and I, I tweeted him, he tweeted me back, like, saying that he's making tracks with Meat Mill. 
Trey Songs and Vardo, you know what I'm saying? Going out there, really like tackling the scene, innit? We got Benny Banks as well, making a track with Mike Miller and like, like everything's just becoming good for the scene. Even K Code getting signed to Rock Nation, it's big, man. Even, you see what I'm saying? Gigs is out been, thank God. <laughs> yeah, thank God he's still signed and that. So the UK scene is wicked, still strong, man. We're still strong. Um, yeah, but. Um, even though it's, it's strong, there's also like the weak sides, the weak artists, like um, mostly in the underground. That like, it's, it's not really getting that recognition that mainstream artists are getting. Yeah, definitely. Um, such as like, like people like Jay Spades, like he's oh, coming yeah. up, he he's doing his thing, yeah. but I don't think people are, are really paying attention. Yeah, big up Spades, man, because that man there, they they been on their thing for day, you know what I'm saying? For Mash Town, freaking Squeaks, Rattling, Joe Black. These are veterans, I'm saying, Blade Brown. I'm saying, Blade Brown went all the way to the US and that, that's still that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if if people can recognise the underground scene a bit more, the UK scene will be a scene. Like, if you see in the US, even the underground people get their money like, and get known, you know what I'm saying? Like, the UK scene, I don't really see that. Like, everyone's just into this funky, skanking in the air, all right, cool, that's live, but we should, listen, we should really like listen to the real rappers in the really talking about life and not talking about freaking popping bottles all the time and freaking support rock bottles and that that's stunning and that, but it's not really real life, you know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. But anyway, um coming back to you though, um you um you told me that you've got a mixtape called Part of the Plan coming up um end of twenty twelve. No there's no dates in it. Um uh, but Fam, in fact it's the backup plan. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. It's a cool. Thing. Yeah, uh, so yeah, just talk to me about that. Um, what's the, mi um, the mixtape about? Who's on it? Yeah. Um, who, um, who you've been working with? The backup plan. <coughs> the reason why I called that, big up Ibi, because we thought of it. I come back from the gym. Obviously, I'm doing education, that's my full time stuff in it. You know, I, I want to make an education, but music's kind of like my backup plan, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm candidate in, innit? So if I need to fall back on hobbies, I will fall back in it and really like, put the effort in. I want to make it music, so I, that's the backup plan. And the people around it are my backup plan. You know what I'm saying? Like, big up the enemies, he's, he's featuring on it. I've got a couple of other artists. I've got Jamal on it, I've got Vibes, they got them lot. I've got Man Them in the Hood and that. I've got freaking From Bo, I've got Dressing and Creeps on one tune, they got them lot. You know I'm saying? I've got a couple guys, you know what I'm saying? That I really want to put, put East London on the map. Because, you know what I'm saying, we've got talent in it, for my age group anyway, 18 year olds and that. Like, even big up Chuck from Hackney and that. You know what I'm saying, like, we've really got talent in it. So. It's like money makes the world go round and round. So the plan is to just get more pounds and pounds. So I've got to work hard if I'm going to get the Queen's head. So if that means staying low and avoiding the Fed. Because I want to be rich and get my dad land. So I have to get this money so my name can expand. So I won't stop until my money is limitless. Because money can be cool and it can lead to some wickedness. Ha <laughs> ha, I love the look of my love. Texture, the smell, all of that lovely money. I can walk it around Western like I'm with my honey. But when I spend it all, nah, it's not really funny. Yeah, alright, um, so, um, yeah, back, the backup plan coming out by the end of 2012. Yeah. Featuring Jamal, Vibes, and King. Yeah. Yeah, um, so yeah, um, are, those yeah the, well. um, are those the people that we should try? Look out for. Yeah, big up Jamal in it because he got me on a tune called Two Weeks. You need to check that out, man. Check that out. Jamal, Two Weeks, you know, I had, I had a deep emotional verse. Like, I was chilling at home. Obviously, Yem's done this verse. Yem's calling me saying, Yo, yo, Jamal done the tune. I hollered at Jamal. Jamal said, Calm down, man. You need to release some emotion. You know I'm saying, like, because during that time, like, I had family issues in it. Obviously, ten stuff happened in it. But during that time, I just needed to express myself in it. And, Music was there, so big up Jamal, man. This mixtape's out right now. Vats is mixtape's out right now. King's mixtape's out right now. No man is, that's out. Look at, you know, cop them mixtapes because they're banging as well. I'm saying. But look out for mine. <laughs> yeah, alright, well, uh, thanks for your time, Blacks. Done, man. Um, obviously, done. just before we shoot, tell the people where they can find you on the net. Um, if you want to find me, Twitter at Blacksman Artist, not with an S. Z at Blacksman Artist. 
that's basically just me doing my thing, you know, just talking about life, a whole lot of bullshit with my mates, just joking around. You'll probably see some holiday photos and that. Facebook, Samuel, Mr. Blacks, that's mainly, you know, for music and that. That's when I promote my videos and that. I'll probably want to listen to you there as well. A SoundCloud, Mr. Blacks. So yeah, man, that's where you can find me and all my music and that. You know, for real. We got Teddy Boy Media. You know what I'm saying? He's doing a lot as well. Oh. Yo, it's Mr. Black, so no, I'm here in the studio and a couple of men in here. You know what I'm saying? We got Jamal, we got Shaq there, King, all oh, my mixtape and that. We got O, Engineer, he's working on a couple of things. Anyway, basically, you know, I'm going to enter the booth, quickly do a little verse which I'm working on. And that's called um, Hammer Dance, innit? Pick up the MZ in here, we'll be here tomorrow. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah, and I be gold for a bit Trying to get it in in many ways You guys think I'm sick of time Trying to keep them on the low Back stacking on the high Trying to keep the balls out So I can even get back I know these rappers say I'm back to rockin' that slap Hit me now, this ain't lost to keep it open now Never yeah, before I start to hit the wrist And start to listen out So don't talk about me And speak to your shitty rappers Yeah, my kids are about to pay Cause I never shit And that's the realest shit I swear to God, the man, you little brick I'm 18 And I'm going up a shot spin You put me down for a bit But I'm still you try to tell me like a snake, but I'm still your bitch. I'm here with the bars and the flows that I'm in careers. Yeah, then it is, because I'm real like that, bro. There's no need to talk about it, because I'm in the trash black, yeah. And it should just get more pans and pans So I've got to work hard if I'm gonna get the queen's head So if that means staying low and avoiding the bed Cause I don't wanna be rich and get my dad